Hey Jim, welcome to uh, our talk. Hey, hey, what's good, Lee? Hey, um, so you? everybody, welcome to come to Jim and Lee um, casual talk, if you like. Uh, casual talk. Casual talk uh, from Vancouver. So, um, Jim, do you want to maybe just briefly introduce yourself? Uh, yo, uh, my name is Jim. I'm uh, from Vancouver, uh, been living here for a while, I'd say I call myself a native out here. Um, uh, I'm a, I'm a b-boy, you know, I'm an artist, you know, I've been dancing since 2006, uh, up until now. Mm. You know? Yeah. So, uh, I... I teach in the community. I I try to be active in the community and uh, give back, and especially give back to the community because that's hip hop, you know. Excellent. So yes, that's a little bit about me. Mm, lovely, lovely. So today, let's talk about dance. Um, Sorry. Let's talk about dancing. Um, dancing. Yes. So obviously, you have a long. Uh, history you experience in dancing um mm -hmm. how do you like for you what is dancing how do you define for me yes how do i define dancing i think uh for me dancing uh uh it's it to, to describe it it's you have to also for me to describe it you it's you got to have this uh, special connection to the music. You know, it's, uh, it's important that you have connection with the music because that's what dictates your feeling, you know, um, and, and music comes first, you know, uh, because that's, that's where your whole expression is uh, going to manifest and look, you know. Mm. Mm. So, like, okay, for example, I, I actually took one modern dance uh, class mm -hmm. long time ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I was absolutely miserable. Uh, <laughs> um, like, I feel like, okay, there's a music, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm following, but my mm -hmm. body doesn't follow. Oh. Well, your, your, your body doesn't follow. Maybe I think with that, it takes uh, practice. Mm. It takes practice. Um, uh, I think for me, uh, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't natural for me at first. You know, I had a hard time. Like my body couldn't, um, couldn't uh, uh, like adjust or get get to the right feeling or the right rhythm mm. with the music so mm. it, it it did take some time uh for me um to to get used to uh becoming uh like be 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 with the music you know be in rhythm with it mm. so uh, i'd say like just time time itself and just practice you mm. know so you normally like how do you um so when you practice you uh how do you do like in a regular day you listen to the music connect your uh your dance yes yes uh for me uh it's uh it's a way how you connect with the music you know mm -hmm. how how are you gonna uh it, it's almost like how are you gonna present um, your dance uh, with the music. Like, mm -hmm. like I mean, um, you know, there's music, uh, but how are you going to execute your dance in this music? How are you going to dance in this kind mm -hmm. of music? Mm -hmm. You know, um, you, you, you let the music like di dictate how you dance, you know? That's right. Uh, and Especially like with the with the uh, type of dance that I do, uh, breaking, 
um, the the original music that uh, that breaking was known for was funk, you know. Uh, so you see a lot of these um, like like um, funk music, like uh, J- James Brown, for example, you know, like uh, the Godfather of Funk, like James Brown, you know, they they always um, they always have that uh, m- musical instruments that uh, that you're supposed to dance correct correct to. Mm. You know, yeah. So this is how you choose the music. So you choose the yes. style. Yeah. Mm. You choose the style and um, the like the, the original music of that it was danced to, like breaking. Mm-hmm. You know, but now it's like the music is uh, becoming uh, more different. You know, there's funk, but at the same time. Uh, uh, some mainstream music is being added onto it, you mm-hmm. know, from other DJs and, you know, like it's cool. Um, but I think it's important to always um, never forget the original uh, music mm-hmm. that uh, like breaking uh, was being danced to, you know. Mm. I see. That's very cool. Um yeah, um, in other, you know, following episodes, maybe you can show us some example. Um, for example, the music inspire you. Um, and when, can I ask, like, when you start to, uh, you know, have a, had an interest um, of those uh, music and dance? Uh, I would say, like, for what, when, at, at what age you mean? Mm. I would say uh, when I was in uh, high school, I think I was around 16 years old, maybe, mm. when I started. Yeah, because I think that age, I was um, um, I was trying to find what I was good at, you know. Mm. I, tried, uh, I tried drawing, I tried art. Um, I didn't really get into it, you know. And um, I I tried uh, this one class um, because back in high school uh, you need or was it you, in order to get like credits you need to take like non academic courses and br- breaking it was called breaking popping and locking okay. so yeah and then uh, I took the class you know and uh, interestingly enough. Um, some of the people who I taught, uh, whom I was taught, I mean, um, they, yeah, like, we became, like, good friends, you know? And I think that that, that was, like, that was, like, the start, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I, I tried, like, popping, you know, like, some of these is, like, maybe from, like, California, mm-hmm. like, Electric Boogaloo, like, these are, like, I think in the 80s. Uh, but this is not this is not breaking. So like I tried that like popping, it didn't work out. Like my body was too was too stiff, you know. <laughs> and then I tried that locking. It's mm. uh, it's it's dance to like funk music, you know, okay. a lot of the wrist rolls. Mm. And then I tried it. It's a little bit strange, you know. I didn't really like it. I like it now, but like when I was younger, I didn't like it. And then I tried breaking, and for me. I don't know. What it was. It felt like okay. This is a the right right one. I think mm. you know. So I so I stuck with it, you know. And ever since then, I've uh, I just kept on breaking, like practicing after school for like two hours, like almost every day. Wow. Yeah, yeah. When I was uh, in high school. Mm. Do you still keep those? Um, you have a video. Recording those? Uh, um, no? I the old ones probably not. No. no. Um, I have some videos. Um, on my uh, on my account. Okay. Yeah. So mm. I think you can even um, 
find him on YouTube, I think. Maybe next time yeah. you can you can Maybe show next us. time I can yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I can uh, demonstrate you know yes. do a yeah. short lesson you know exactly, exactly. yeah because yeah, so. for me like this is my first time to get to know you know uh, funk and you know those um, I think is uh, fascinating uh, I also have a you know very stiff body like mm-hmm. I don't like I do sport yeah I play basketball mm-hmm. yeah. You also play basketball. basketball. Yeah. Yes, and, yes, yes. Uh, um, yeah, you meet uh, Said in a basketball court. Said, yeah? yes, 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 yes. 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 Um, and uh, I also do uh, uh, Aikido, yeah, the Japanese Aikido. martial art. Oh, yeah. Cool. I feel like I feel good, you know, when I'm doing those sports. But I didn't, I didn't have a chance to find a, a dance, you know, like mm. dance style, uh, I feel comfortable. Or maybe I didn't have a chance to try, yeah? Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's fascinating to know the insight, you know, from, from you. Yeah. Mm. So like, okay, so, so you have been practicing for a long time and... Uh, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Yes. So. Would you say this is most important like, because we are talking about um, uh, basically your process um, like when you begin to uh, we're talking about the high school like except uh, except dancing uh, what influenced you? So, sorry what was the last thing? I, I didn't hear you. There. Sorry except uh, dancing um, mm-hmm. what influenced you uh, the most? Maybe people, maybe um, certain event. Uh, for 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 dancing, you mean? Oh yeah, it can be dancing related because we. Uh, uh, I would say so. I would say like, uh, like the event, the event. I would say so. Mm. Yeah, I remember when I was younger. I, I, I saw um, some of these jams. They were uh, they were raw, you know. Um, there were dance events that was like dance battles that was happening even during um, blackouts with blackouts like somebody has the um, the uh, flashlight you know on their phone and stuff and people are just like dance battling like uh, each other you know I was like wow this is like this is crazy in the dark oh you know yeah uh, yeah it was I remember it was called the uh, uh, Fight, I think it's called Fight Before Christmas, that event. I'll never forget that. And the crazy part is they, they did the crazy part is nobody had the footage, you know. You had to be there, you know, mm. in order to see that. Yeah. And I was there. I witnessed that, you know. Mm. So wow. that was that was a pretty cool event I went mm. to. Yeah. So is it like a part of, would you say is a part of a culture in Vancouver, uh, which is unique? Do you experience that in, in other places as well? Yes, 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 I do actually. Mm. Um, uh, in places where I go, like in, even like different countries, like uh, Japan, you know, like I experience that, mm. you know, and and the crazy part this is on a larger scale, you know, mm-hmm. where there's a lot of people. Um, I experienced this in Europe as well, you know, in in the Italy, you know, it's pretty nice. Oh, there's a, so how did you find those? You have a friends that told you where to go. Yes, yeah. Yes, I I do that and um, yeah, but like. I, I find I find events, you know, I, I, I follow them online on social media. Mm. You know. Yeah. Uh it's quite interesting because I'm actually going to one when I go to Asia uh next week. So Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the, the crazy part is it's uh it's gonna be world finals. Mm-hmm. So it's called Battle of the Year, uh World Finals. It's gonna be held in uh, Japan, Osaka, Japan. Wow, wow! And uh, when I say World Finals, it's like 
it's not just you know Japanese people going in there, but uh, people all over the world are coming mm. to represent. Mm. So it's gonna be an interesting time, you know. Mm. So, so, so when you go there, do you compete? Like, do you? Uh, a- I'm I'm thinking of competing. You know, if there's mm. such a, a category, because I think there's. Definitely one with the crew versus crew, but I, I'm just going by myself, so I have no crew. Mm. There's, I think, maybe a bigger battle. I got, I got to find out the uh, um, the format, and then I'll figure out figure that mm. by myself. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, exciting. It is exciting. So. Yeah. Huh. I remember when I was in uh, Slovenia. Uh, there's, you know, we have this uh, contemporary museum, and there's a bridge. You know, is a on the mm-hmm. side of a bridge, and under mm-hmm. the bridge, there's a space where people just mm-hmm. go and dance there, and even they do a little bit like you know, small fashion show there. Um, mm-hmm. It's like you know, it's funny uh, contract because the museum is very almost political, you know, place. Yeah, it's very academic and. Four more, and then on the side, <laughs> you know, it's like subculture, and uh, you know, people, you know, drawing on the wall, you know, spraying on the wall. Um, I yeah. found it's a very interesting contract there. Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, you probably have a team, yeah. You have a people, you dance together, you um, musician as well. Um, a musician, no. Not that I know of. Mm. Oh, I, well, my friend, uh, he makes music, but he doesn't really make music. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, but but he's part of my crew, but I have some friends uh, who, who makes music, you know, but mm. they're not part of my crew. Uh, like my team, yeah. Mm. So, I see. Okay. So, like, what do you? Um, how do you define, uh, you know, dancing by your own philosophy? Like, for example, you know, there's a different kind of. I think there's a different kind of style, yeah, and they're based on different yeah. kind of philosophy, and you probably mm-hmm. have some kind of personal. You know, philosophy based on how do you treat, um, you know, your body. How do you move? Um, do you have something like that to share? Yeah, I, I have something to share like that. You know, um, I think that uh, when you're learning, when you're learning uh, dance, I think it is important that you. Learn the foundations and like mm. the basics, you know, because it will always be uh, not only your stepping stone, but it's something for you to go back into, you know. Mm. If if you um, if say uh, you crashed or you you're you're a little bit lost, you know, mm. uh, and. And yeah, like the more that you work on it, like the stronger it gets, the more you can add up more into it so that it becomes more complex. And, you know, and it's also important that uh, I think people learn like the history and like the proper approach mm. uh, to like to the dance itself, you know. Um, because there's a difference between somebody who's just learning to just dance and somebody who's really trying to, like, you know, um, live that kind of lifestyle, like, you know, like, there's right. a history and then, mm. like, make make real connections with, like, the OGs, you know, like, that's, that's on a different level, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah, so um, I would say yes, like look up your history, you know, like learn your history where where things comes from, you know, like 
where things originated from because that gives you a better idea. I think that puts also puts you on um, uh, a different uh, mental mental level, I guess, against your against your peers, against your opponent, or something. Mm. Um, you know, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I really like you know is um, maybe is quite similar to the performance art. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's you know there's a many different kind of art form, um, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, it's also about the history you mentioned, and as it's mm-hmm. also about how do you uh, um, you know try to challenge the history as well. Yeah, so yeah. I think for the the artist, uh, like um, there will be a like a statement we mentioned last time, uh, and you are trying to find out like okay, how can I bring something new? How can I contribute yeah. to the society and the human being, uh, and then challenge the history? Yeah, I I found is um, I can understand that. Yeah, although I don't really you know practice you know, dancing, um, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, human body is amazing. I mean, it's a lot of possibility. Um, mm-hmm. Next time, I think we can, um, you know, uh, give some example of what mm-hmm. you, you know, mentioned today, and also maybe we can talk about the body. Uh, like, how do yeah, you improve your body? You know, how do yes, you apply yes. your philosophy on the training? I think it'd be very helpful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, you know, for sure. Um, when you when when it comes to your body, you really have to take good care of it. Mm. Uh, I I think that uh, you should do uh, a weekly body maintenance. You know, mm. uh, like for me at least, try to see a a, a massage therapist or a um, what's it called. Uh, acupuncture you know mm. because sometimes your body you know like when you overwork your body you you, you put your body into stress like your mm. body reacts and you know right. you get mm. all these knots in your body and mm. you get untie that you know yeah so there's yeah. like blood flow you know mm. yeah yeah mm. and, yeah, and stretching 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 is also important Mm-hmm. You know, um, especially if you're the kind of person who's doing more of the like dynamic moves and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, like flares, windmills, like you got to be able to have your legs like wide apart and stuff. So, mm. yeah, to make it clean, mm. power moves, you know. I see. Yeah. It's uh, fascinating. I always, you know, uh, remember these. You know this um, drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, uh, a man. You know, uh, stretch his body into a circle. You know, like a circle. You know, yeah. into a circle. Like, it's in talking about what is um, perfect body. Yeah, trying to look for mm-hmm. the the proportion and. The, but even from the you know Greek philosophers, they were talking about what is a perfect human being. Yeah. They're trying to define mm-hmm. what is that, and until today, I think you know it is a, you know it is what it's about. Yeah, um, yeah. You're trying to do something. You're trying to find out direction, and uh, you try different things, and eventually you you have a you know you show people like you you accomplish, um, mm-hmm. and you can help. So yeah, that's a very interesting topic. Yeah, so. Yeah, thank you very much for today. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, next time um, let's continue this topic um, regarding the body and the dance and the example. Okay. All right, that sounds good, brother. Yeah, yeah thank good you talking with you, man. Thanks for inviting me for the podcast, man. Always good. Always good to talk. Um, have a good night, Jim. All right, have a good night, brother. Yeah. Take yeah. care. Peace. 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 Thank you.